Hi guys, welcome to the channel, general love reading for my friends Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for July 2021. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a Celtic Cross, but first let's pull a couple of cards from this smaller deck. Let's see what we can get for you. And here we go. Self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. And bottom of the deck, we have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. So, let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies. Virgo, July 2021. And we are ready. So, current situation, Ten of Pentacles. The challenge, Eight of Cups. Talk about separation. Crowning energy. The Fool. Core of the situation, Hermit Major Arcana. Past energies, four of wands, future energies, six of pentacles, approach to the situation, ace of pentacles, energies around you, page of swords, hopes and fears, queen of swords, possible outcome, ten of cups, four of pentacles, bottom of the deck. This is a quite a transition, but guys, basically, this flow of energies is uh, turning around the Eight of Cups in the challenge and the Ten of Cups as an emotional fulfillment that can be found along the way. The Ace of Pentacles is a brand new beginning, but some of you may leave behind um, a previous commitment. It's a leap of faith for some of you, but it's uh, deeply evaluated because of the hermit and the four of pentacles sometimes can be an energy about cutting losses taking care of what's due and there is a touch of protection also because the man is keeping the pentacle extremely close to his chest so guys basically the ten of pentacles current situation can be um an energy about a commitment, a family even, for some of you, because this is still a general reading, so it can be. But the challenge is so meaningful, because we have a man that after a well-thought evaluation granted by the moon in the background, can decide to leave behind eight cups, let's say, um, a well-established connection, a well-established partnership. Because maybe his heart and soul were not fulfilled properly. The feeling is about um, a situation that can be described as one with all the material aspects in favor of a successful partnership but kinda behind the curtains there is something that is not working and this can be an unfortunate uh, situation but um, it depends on the perspective that we decide to uh, embrace because a person may may even say look I was involved in um, in a commitment, in a partnership, in a marriage, but at some point I have realized that my fulfillment was not there anymore. Maybe I thought that um, the chance was deserving, but it was not in reality. And the Eight of Cups is a brave decision. For me, the man in the Eight of Cups can be the fool, and the fool shows up. This is a brave call. 
a brave code that can resonate, for example, with uh, the key elements of the Oracle cards, focus on self, self-worth, shadow work, self-appreciation. And the other side of the coin is about someone, for example, a partner that may miss some of you if you decide to embrace the journey. Someone may think about you and there is a feeling like unsure of future which can be the unknown what can come up next moving forward but this man is willing to take a chance in order to pursue the ten of cups the nine and ten of cups so guys the fool is a brand new beginning a leap of faith and the fool is ready to go all out on an adventure pursuing new horizons, ready to learn new things. There is excitement and the decision can bring it because it's a major one, but with the hermit there is wisdom. We have evaluated all the aspects involved in a situation, ten of pentacles influenced, and about what can happen next because the hermit is willing to embrace a moment of solitude in order to dive deeper into an introspection that can pay off big time he is capable of unlocking secrets about the journey about the interactions of the everyday life this six of pentacles can be an energy about balance and fairness maybe something was not working uh, along those lines the four of wands that we see in the past for some of you can be a marriage um, it was a chance to celebrate and this is a soulful partnership but for some reason the process stopped working and this can be truly an inner realization guys um, kinda thinking about what happiness um, truly can be for a person and realizing that it's not about the material things maybe um, some of you can say look I was trying to to find a satisfaction that was beyond the practical things that were involved in the connection, in the partnership, in the marriage. The Six of Pentacles for me is a fair and fair exchange in order to avoid one of the downsides of the energy which is the one man up, one man down dynamic. This can be a call to restore balance and fairness because maybe despite the appearance which is auspicious about a combination of energies, ten of pentacles, four of wands, something was off. Uh, another factor that I would like to share with you or at least with those that can resonate. This is an energy that can be about a situation where in a partnership one of the two persons is um, making more money for example and maybe even without knowing it they can use the element as a, as a tool to drive the connection I hope that you can get my point because basically this is one of the examples about the one man up one man down dynamic I am making more money than you and so the partnership will follow my lead because I am the one that is more capable of providing on a material level but life, um, life is not just about um, things that we can own and possess who cares about um, a beautiful new car if we can uh, work uh, together as a team within the partnership this is the point guys 
in the approach to the situation we see the ace of pentacles and um despite the fact that the ten of pentacles is an energy about legacy and long term um we move from the ten to the ace this is a brand new cycle completely different that's why the leap of faith this can be about a person that is willing to take a chance because they realize that life is calling and maybe they have settled for a situation that was uh, all good in um, in theory but not so much when it comes to heart and soul and so there is a gateway in the ace of pentacles energy and the fool or the man in the eight of cups is willing to power through because there is the wisdom of the hermit that can move towards wishes because there is the star within the lantern and so the ace of pentacles can be a, uh, an encouragement to uh, pursue new horizons to embrace a new chapter of the journey a new way of doing things there is trust for me in the ace of pentacles which is the minor arcana for the sun by the way so happiness inner happiness in this case even more satisfaction and fulfillment and there is trust for me so this is about trusting the process trusting a decision that can come from art and soul page of swords in the energies around you guys this is an energy of communication but I usually say that the pages can be awkward and goofy and still be deserving of attention because they may have something important to say to share or to offer if this energy is channeled by the partner that was um, by your side in the ten of pentacles for once they are not able to match because you are sitting in a wisdom that is way way higher hermit versus page of swords this type of energy within this situation can be about someone that is immature and there is no judgment from me it's just about the flow of the energies it can be about a person that gives importance to the physical things and kinda overlook the respect the fairness the reciprocal support and understanding that need to be involved in a partnership for it to be balanced healthy fulfilling this is also an energy about gathering knowledge uh, maybe a partner can wait and see what some of you may decide to do but they have no arguments because the page of swords can offer a token yes but in this case it doesn't seem able to convince a person that is driven by the hermit energy to reconsider and this four of pentacles is a closed off approach not exactly willing to communicate in this flow hopes and fears guys queen of swords this is an energy that can be about a person that realizes that they need to stand up for themselves because a partnership despite the appearances the ten of pentacles and the four of wands in a social media influenced uh, era it's about pictures it's about um, being exposed to the eyes of other people for example and what may seem beautiful on a picture or within a picture maybe it's not in reality and the queen of swords stands up truth and clarity brilliant mind she can swing the ace of swords accepting no nonsense 
and at some point if a dynamic one man up one man down is playing at all some of you may have hoped to channel the queen of swords energy which by the way can even decide to close um, a connection the fear can be what if i embrace the queen of swords energy and i truly embrace the journey at the fullest potential fulfilling the challenge eight of cups driven what can happen possible outcome ten of cups fulfillment of the heart the contrast about these two beautiful energies uh, usually ten of pentacles ten of cups this can be about material things as we have already shared the ten of cups is about heart and soul and life offers choices in favor of all of us and a person may realize that a uh, partnership built in a certain way about practical things and privileges for example is not entirely able to fulfill heart and soul that's why the eight of cups that's why the full energy that's why the hermit has a wise approach and the ace of pentacles is a brand new beginning this is the type of energy that can guide a person towards the opportunity to move closer and closer in a certain amount of time to their ultimate emotional fulfillment this can be a, a different partnership a different type of partnership and i will give you an example that is coming to my mind in this moment if you remember the movie with nicolas cage and tia leone uh, 2004 2005 i guess the family man the story was about a successful man that was giving uh, great importance to a beautiful car, uh, beautiful suits, and a beautiful apartment, Nicolas Cage. And at some point, uh, because there is an encounter with uh, destiny in some sense, Don Cheadle in the movie, he can catch a glimpse about what life could have been if Nicolas Cage had chosen to um, pursue the partnership with Tia Leone. Maybe a simpler life, but more fulfilling. And when the glimpse comes to an end, without giving you spoilers, there is a realization for the character. Of Nicolas Cage heart and soul matter and they deserve attention this is a flow of energies about that so guys it's quite interesting and if you resonate this is a major crossroads in some sense we do not see um, two of wands two of swords lovers major arcana and so forth but this is still a major decision coming from the heart so let's see where these energies are going i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful i'll continue on vimeo i'll see you there if you want to join me the link is below if you resonate let us know leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best guys take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye